Hey everybody, Jason and Sarah with uh, Weekends with Bernie. And uh, today we wanted to bring you a cooler that we ended up purchasing. We are in no way affiliated with the company, but uh, we did a lot of research. We were looking for a cooler for something that we could take with us in our pickup or in Ernie the Jeep or in Bert the Bus. And we ran across Bouge RV, which uh, seemed to have had pretty good reviews. And the price point is really, really good. Uh, we ended up purchasing this one on Amazon Prime Day for about a $475 with a cover that came with it. It is a 59 quart. And it is a 12 volt, 24 volt, and 120 volt. They also have an optional battery packet that you can buy and put in it, which supposedly will run for somewhere between four to six hours, depending on uh, the amount of time that it's needing to cool so uh, we figured we'd do a little unboxing for you i haven't seen a whole lot of information about this cooler out there but what we have seen has been good reviews and a great price point as far as a cooler for somebody that's on a budget for buses for your jeep for overlanding uh, for your weekend camping trips we have a pop-up camper which we removed the fridge from because it no longer worked and we were looking for a option that would not require us to go into town and buy ice every day in order to keep it cool. So stay tuned, we'll unbox it and uh, give you kind of a, an overview of it. Cool, who's in first? Sure, you wanna do it since I don't cut myself? No more ER visits for Jason. Yay. To clarify, we've already had one ER visit because of this knife. And that guy. We did buy this from Amazon Prime in, on Sunday and it is arrived on Tuesday. So pretty quick shipping. Oh, there is some packaging. It's all busted. This is also our very first unboxing video. We have absolutely no idea what we're doing. Oh, why are you cutting it all the way down? A couple of the features that I really liked about this was that it has dual zones. You, heck, you can have a fridge and a freezer. You can make both of them a fridge. You can make both of them a freezer. You can make either one of them vice versa. So. Um, it has an app that you can download and uh, onto your phone and run off your phone. It also has a touch screen that uh, we'll take a look at. I'm also interested to see how long it takes to initially cool down. Let me get this back up here and we'll take a closer look at it. Hazel's going for the tank. There it is, the 59 quart cooler from Bouge RV. I really like that it had the heavy duty wheels so you can roll it around. It's gonna get pretty heavy after you pack it down with some stuff. We'll take a closer look at this. We've got this nice big grab handle up front and you can extend it out to provide yourself with more leverage in order to move your cooler. It's got some nice hard plastic wheels should be good to roll around on the most hard surfaces. Don't know how it would handle sand. It's pretty wide, but uh, I don't think it's going to be well enough to, to handle sand. It's got two lids, one for your larger compartment, one for your smaller compartment. These are actually reversible. All you got to do is open it and it has a slot, a little slot, and you can turn it around. And that will work for both of them. Depending on your situation. It also comes with a cool little cutting board. 
that will attach right here if you don't want to carry an extra cutting board with you. This is your deeper side and it has a very large basket that goes all the way to the base. That's a lot of storage capacity. Cutting board. It's nothing fancy, but it'll get you out of the pinch. The lid, it seems to close nice and solid. I don't feel a whole lot of movement in it. Here's the smaller side. We get another decent sized basket. It's not as deep as the other side because your compressor is actually housed right in this area right here. So, and it comes with the cords. You've got your uh, 120 volt cord and you've got your 12 volt cord. It's a bottle opener on this side. Do a close up in a minute. Do you want to talk about the battery abilities? I really don't know much about the battery abilities just yet, other than it does have the ability to put a battery pack on it. There is a storage compartment right here that comes off, and it will store a uh, battery capacity 15,600 milliamps. You can purchase it from Bouge RV or from Amazon. Again, no affiliation with them. I, they're not sponsored by them. It also has a spot where you can hook up a solar panel to charge that. And then it has the regular 12-volt uh, plug-in. Yep. Cool. Do I get to open another box? Go ahead. This will be the cover that we purchased with it. We live in Texas, it gets very, very hot in the summertime, so we thought any way that we could try to insulate this cooler would help it be more efficient and have a little bit less of a power draw. So we opted for a option that came with a exterior insulated um, bag that goes around the cooler. This is the cover, the insulated cover. It's got a nice little reflective material on the inside. It does feel like your typical, like a uh, collapsible cooler bags. We'll go ahead and see about trying to put it on. Nothing really to it, but it will prov provide a little bit more insulation. It has a nice look to it. Still gives you access to your, your main panel. <laughs> I can't get these zips. They're quite tight. So there you have it. That is the Bouge RV 59 quart fridge freezer with the exterior insulating bag that you can purchase separately or you can purchase as a bundle deal for it. Uh, you still got all the access points, uh, your battery pack in the back. It's got a drain underneath it that you can get to. The bag also comes with these cool pockets on both sides so you've got a little extra storage and access to your, your main panel. The only thing that we saw that uh, you gotta be careful about is um, the bag will only open one way, so when you're trying to get into your cooler, you've either got to open it up all the way if you've got the doors reversed, or flip the doors around so that they function with the bag better. So We'll give you an update here in uh, a few days or something once we've had a chance to get it turned on, give it a chance to cool down. That way we can take a look and see how long it takes to initially cool it down and uh, give us a chance to see what kind of storage space that we have. We're looking for something that we can camp for a weekend, two to three days, maybe four max, and hopefully have the storage capacity within this cooler to last that entire time. 
I'm pretty excited to see just how much I can fit in here. So we'll do a test pack and let you know how much we can actually fit. What size was this again? It's a 59 quart. I think a test pack would be great because that was one thing that we struggled with on YouTube researching it is trying to figure out how much stuff that you could actually pack in one of these coolers. My wife has got the packing skills, so she will be a great one to be able to tell you exactly how much stuff you can pack in one of these. We'll get ready to go and let you guys know. Thanks for watching.